my one-on-one, -on -one, up close and personal interview with the King of Calypso, the Mighty Sparrow. Listening to you and show that they are concerned, we have to get their attention by coming with a nice melody and with a nice tempo and that type of thing. But some of the guys, they have the tempo, but a lot of them don't have the melodies. And lyrically, some of them are very lacking. That's big. How long have you been, been in this business? For over 50 years. I know I don't look it. I know I look like 25. <laughs> Maybe 27. 27, but yeah, yeah. whatever it is. At least I feel like 27 or 37, you know. But I'm actually 70 wow. years old. Yeah, yeah. 70. So, 50, 50 years, what, what, what keeps you doing it? I just love it. Yeah, like I told you, if you are a people's kind of person, if you like people and you want to see your neighborhood better, you want to tell the powers that be that you need better conditions, you need schools, you need police protection, and you need all these sort of different things that concerns a village. You know, now that I suppose would enhance your ambition to stay in the business for as long as it takes. But if you're looking for just money, like you know, like a big um, uh, American star, you may get it if you are that talented and if you're lucky, but most of us don't get it. It's my opinion, and my opinion could be wrong, that entertainers like you, the foundation, should be as revered. There should be some kind of society set up to commemorate uh, 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 the effect that, 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 that you essentially have on, on, on generations past and present. Well, I agree with you, and I wish that you were right. But there is so much unfairness in this world that it's amazing to see that some of us still stay in the business without any proper recognition, aggrandizement, or anything that really should make us proud except our own feelings to the fellow man in our community.